we spoke Portuguese, and they shared this verse to me, and I, and I, would, re I would repeat it to them. O anjo do Senhor acampes ao nosso redor, which is the angel of the Lord encamps around those. That's all I knew, and I would keep repeating that one part of the verse. But it's crazy when I look back in my life, although that was the only part I knew, it was funny how the Lord completes the rest of his promise. Because although I didn't realize I need to fear him, he still took care of me. Although I didn't know that there was a God delivering me from drugs, alcohol, suicide, taking care of me every situation, I look back and say, thank God. I wasn't, I wasn't even sure I was believing in it, but I spoke something into existence. How many of us need to speak something into existence today? Change is going to come, but you got to speak it. If God has said, God is an all-powerful God. Is he not an awesome God? Then why do some people believe it and but don't live like they're believing? It? It's right. a confusing situation. I see the saints singing, he's able. He's able to take care of my family. He's able to do that. He's able to do that. But their lives speak a different sermon. And I'm just wondering about what is going on. And, you know, some of, us, some of us are impatient. How many of us are impatient on God's promises? We want change to come, but we're impatient on it. But, you see, the Lord also gave me another, another verse. He's shared with this verse with me for so long. I want to take you guys there. 1 Peter 5, 6 through 7. And here, oh, he, man, this is a powerful scripture here. You see, I used to suffer with anxiety issues. I used, I'm a control freak. And I would want things done right now, God. Right. But he says this, he this in his scripture. He says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Yeah. I read this verse and I'm always reminded, hey, I need to decrease and let him increase for a while. I need to put him, I need to lift him up and let me go down. Because when you start humbling yourself, God can now he work can in you. your life. He can use you, yes. he can start working. Yes. But you gotta believe, humbling doesn't start if you're not believing first. You gotta believe it. And the interesting thing about the scripture is that it says, humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God. Yes. That he may exalt you at the right time. Yes. Change is going to come, but not your time. It's coming on God's time. Some of us want it right here, right now, but it's not coming now. We don't know when, but the, God's got the right time. When it comes, whew, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. He will exalt. He's a mighty God. He's got a mighty hand. He will exalt us. Change is going to come, but you've got to wait on it. And sometimes it's hard, and sometimes you want to cry. Sometimes you want to yell. You're frustrated. But the scripture says, cast your anxieties on him. Yes. Just throw it at him. If you're angry, yell at God. You need to cry, just cry. Or he, he's a big God. He can handle it. Just give it all to him. He, it's not falling on deaf ears. It's not falling on someone who doesn't care. The scripture says he cares for you. He loves you. And so when I'm thinking about that race, and I'm saying, can my friend win? Can Jesus win in my life? Yes, he can. He's won every race that I've ever seen him race. He's won through every single situation. He's a mighty God. I believe in him. I'm wearing a lens called faith. What about you? What brand are you? Is it doubt or is it faith? Are you going to believe? Change is going to come. Yes or no? Yeah, change is going to come. Yes or no? Yeah. Change is going to come. Yes or no? Yeah. Then believe it. Amen. You got to believe it. Amen. Believe it now. Just believe in it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, I hope you were as blessed as I was blessed tonight. Um, I want to again thank Shauna, uh, Carville, and Robert, who came in the thicket. When I said in the thicket, I uh, a week, uh, it was about a week ago, I said, Rob, would you be able? <laughs> because someone who was supposed to was not able to, but God made a way, and uh, I'm, I'm so grateful. Uh, we're done, so that way you can go home and come back tomorrow, amen? Amen? Um, understand that we have a grand celebration tomorrow. Uh, the day, if you, if you are going to come here, understand lunch is prepared. We're going to have an AY and we're going to have a social. So come prepared to have fun in the Lord. Amen? 
Amen. Let's bow our heads. Um, just before you go, on, we have refreshments. So please grab a refreshment uh, down the end of the hall before you go. Let's bow our heads as we pray. Father, we are so grateful that a God uh, who is so great, who's so powerful, who's so marvelous, uh, makes all things work together for our good. We're grateful for the reminder, dear God, that if we believe in you, change will come. Yeah. So, Father, we're placing all our cares in your hands. There is nobody else like you. I searched all over, but I could not find nobody yeah. who is like my God. So, Father, we place ourselves in your hands. Be with us now as we leave from here. Bring us back safely tomorrow where we can rejoice and glorify your name because it's worthy to be praised. Those on the side of my voice, let, me, let us all say together, amen. Amen. Thank you guys for coming. Remember, refreshments. Uh, pray for the preachers. Encourage the preachers uh, as they go. Amen. Amen. You're dismissed. Oh, yeah. It's been too hard living. I'm ready. I'm ready to die. Yeah. Just like the things I've been running on. Uh, beyond the sky. It's been a long, a long time coming. But I know, no, 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 uh, a change is going to come. Oh, yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. I know it will. Change is going to come. Oh, yes, it will. Yes, it will. I know he will do. Yes. A change is going to come. Oh, yes, he will. I'm not going to say I'm afraid to die. I'm ready to die. That's right. That's right. Ooh. I'm telling you. I'm telling you.